So to start things off, I just want to give a big thank you to EA for sponsoring and providing our first eight theme teams on a side account for our theme team series. For those of you who don't know, last year we did a theme team series where we used all 32 NFL teams and then proceeded to rank them based on how they played. And I'm excited to do it again this year. I hope you all are too. And for today's video, we're going to be using the Baltimore Ravens. And I think they're one of the best theme teams that you can use right now, at least in my opinion. And to show my excitement, I'm going to do a little chant here. R-A-V-E-N-S. Let's go Ravens. What's good, everybody? And we're back today. We're going to be kicking off our theme team series for Madden 21. Super excited about it. The way that it works is last year we went through all 32 NFL teams and then we proceeded to rank them based on how they played at the time that we recorded. So as we go along, the overalls are going to get higher. So the teams that we do at the end will be a higher overall than the teams that we do right now. So the way we do it in order to try to keep it fair is we compare them to the teams that they're playing against at the time of recording. So for example, for the Ravens today, they're gonna to be similar overalls to the players that we're gonna be playing against. And then later on when we're recording, those teams overalls are gonna be similar to the overalls that we're playing against at that time. So that's the way that we keep it even. Before we jump into this video, I do wanna add, uh, add a like goal to this. So if we can get a thousand likes on this video, that would be awesome. Regardless, I'm gonna appreciate every single one of you. I'd love to hear from you in the comments section, maybe what team you're most looking forward to, maybe what team you're a fan of. So whenever we get to your team, you can be excited. Because I enjoy doing this series because I feel like every single NFL fan gets to see their team in the theme team series. Whether you're doing the Ravens right now at number one, the first team that we're doing, or if you're the team that we get to later on, regardless, you, you will get to see your team, which is exciting in my opinion. I hope you all are ready for it. I hope you all are going to enjoy this series. One quick rule I did want to talk about was we're actually not going to be using any players that didn't play for that team, even if they get the theme team chemistry. So like Barry Sanders, the theme team Diamond Master, uh, Sam Mills, Mutt Master, the team captains, those players get every theme team chemistry, but we won't be using them unless they actually played for that team. So we'll still use Barry Sanders on the Lions, but we won't be using them for the other teams. Just that, that way we keep the lineups different and we can kind of keep it fair at the same time. So this year, we're actually going to be doing it in a way that we can kind of get to both generations. So we're gonna do one game on next gen and then one game on current gen. I feel like there's players on both, uh, both ends so far. So the way that we're gonna do it is we're gonna play one game on each and kind of see how the theme team stacks up against other teams at that time for both generations. So we can get the entire aspect of how the team plays. That's it for the intro. Let's jump over to the lineup. So for this lineup here, I actually already mentioned, I feel like this Ravens team might be one of the best theme teams that you can use right now, at least in my opinion. Now, remember with these lineups, the items were actually granted to a side account from EA. So I didn't purchase these with my own coins for these first eight videos. That's how it's going to be. Now, they have Lamar Jackson as a starting QB. They have Steve McNair as a backup QB if you'd rather have a hot route master QB. Willis McGahee, Raheem Mostert, uh, Devin Hester, uh, Steve Smith Sr., Marquise Brown, a lot of really good receivers. We're probably going to be starting Marquise Brown and Devin Hester just because Hester's at 99 speed. If you have Max Brenner, then the Max Ravens uh, chemistry. And then Marquise Brown's going to be 98 speed. So a lot of speed on the outside as receivers there. They have a lot of different tight ends that you can kind of choose from. We're going to be using Todd Heap since we're going to be in the, uh, the split close. And that way we get Slot Apprentice. Darren Waller's another great one, but doesn't get Slot Apprentice, only gets Tight End Apprentice. So if we're in Trips Tight End, we'd likely use Waller. But for split close, we're going to be using Todd Heap. I mean, Shannon Sharp's another great one. They have a lot of good tight ends. They have Andrews, who wasn't even in the top three. So a lot of great tight ends on this Ravens team. O-line's definitely solid across the board. We have Stanley, too. We can also put in there at one of the guard positions. Um, as far as abilities go on offense, super excited about what they can get. We're going to be trying out Escape Artist and Roaming Deadeye on Lamar Jackson since Lamar didn't get Gunslinger yet. Uh, Devin Hester, we just have Double Me. Jonathan Ogden, we have Edge Protector. Marquise Brown, another double me. Uh, Todd Heap, I already mentioned Slot Apprentice just so we could use that in the split close. But again, if it was trips, if it's Trips Tight End, uh, the Tight End Apprentice from Waller will work as well. Raheem Mostert, Backfield Master, and then Edge Protector on Orlando Brown Jr. So that's it for the offense. Getting over to defense here, we have Eric Weddle, Earl Thomas, Adelius Thomas, Ray Lewis, CJ Mosley, Elvis doing real. They have a really, really stacked defense, in my opinion, for, for as far as theme team goes, one of the better defenses that I've seen. Ed Reed, Chuck Clark. Uh, for corners, we have Deion Sanders, Marlon Humphrey, Marcus Peters, 
Rod Woodson. And then as a fifth one, we also have Jimmy Smith. So a lot of good corners to go around. Calais Campbell and Brandon Williams, Michael Pierce, and then Derek Wolf. As far as abilities go for defense, we went with mostly run-stopping uh, abilities. We have Secure Tackler on Ray Lewis. Ed Reed, we have Universal Coverage as the X Factor. And then we have Out My Way. Brandon Williams, Inside Stuff. Calais Campbell, Inside Stuff. Marlon Humphrey, another Universal Coverage. I like the Universal Coverage on the DBs because I feel like if they get an interception, they play really, really good defense, if, especially if you're uh, manning them up. Elvis, du uh, Elvis Dumeru, we have Double or Nothing. Adelius Thomas, we have double or nothing. And then Eric Weddle, a uh, secure tackler again. So again, mostly run defense as far as abilities go on defense. Special teams, they have solid kickers and punters. And then for team strategy, we're going to be in the Patriots offense and we're going to be in the Giants defense. Remember though, for our current gen game, we will be in the Raiders offense. That is it for the team. Let's jump into the game. Here we go with game one. Going to be on next gen for this one. Our first game for the theme team series of this year. Here we go. Well, not the way we wanted to start off the theme team series. We took a delay a game. Not what we wanted to do. Not what we wanted to do. We were setting our audibles and stuff, but that's okay. You know, we started with a little bit of adversity. We're just going to run the ball to try to get to a hash mark right here. Oh, we got some space. Willis started with a little adversity. Let's see what we can do. We're going to be trying to roll out first play right here. Oh, we might have Hester. We might have Hester. We might have Hester. We have Hester! Oh! I thought that was going to be a touchdown. That's cool. We'll definitely take it. We're on the first and goal. Let's go. Definitely could see Hester's 99 speed right there. Love that play from Hester. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. I, th I thought we had the running back. That might not have been the best read, but you know what? We're going to go back to it here. We're going to go back to it. I, th I think maybe we might have had that wheel. We might have had that wheel out there. We're not going to know that because we got to throw out a sec. So I want to try it again. I need to remember, though, that I don't have Gunslinger, so passes are going to be a little bit different. Nice play right there. Now, I was trying to step up in the pocket. They user rushed. Now we're on a third and goal. I think I think we're going to have a streak right here. I, I want to throw the ball to Brown. We're looking for Marquise Brown right here. Ah, we couldn't get it. We couldn't get it. All right, first drive here of the third team series. I kind of want to go for it. I kind of want to go for it right here. We're, we're going to go for it. It might not be the best decision, but I would really like to go for it right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have we're gonna have Hester on a smart in. We'll have McGahey on a streak. This is what we're gonna go for. We're, we're looking for McGahey or Marquise Brown. Those are our two main reads on this play. And we have Marquise. Oh, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. Not the way that we wanted to start off the theme team series. That's okay, though. That is okay. That is okay. We're going to try to get a stop on defense now. This is, this is what I honestly feel is the main strength of the Ravens anyways. It's their defense. So we'll try to get a stop right here. Nice tackle. Nice tackle. We're looking to shoot this gap right here. Okay, it's, it's a pass. It's a pass. Nice read. Really, really nice read. I'm watching the middle this time. The middle is my responsibility. Oh, oh, Chuck Clark. Chuck Clark made a play. Let's go. The Ravens defense is the strength of the team. That's just, that's how I feel about it. They made a play for us right there. Now we, we, we got to try to score here. We got to try to score here. We didn't get to score on our first drive. Hmm. Here's, okay. Here's where we're going to go to. We're going to, we're looking for Hester on the outside right here. We're looking for Hester on the outside. I think we're going to have it. I think we're going to have it. I think we're going to have it. Hester, what a toe tap! Let's go! Ah, I got stuck there. I got stuck there. We didn't. We didn't get stuck right there. We got a shed. We got a shed. This Ravens defense. I just feel like they make a lot of plays. They have a lot. They. Ooh, let's go! They have what? It, pretty much everything that you need for a defense, right? They had the DBs. They had the linebackers. They had the defensive line. They're making a lot of plays right now. Let's go. And it's gonna be a fourth down and long right here. We're gonna try to get off the field. I'm marking the middle with Ray Lou. I'm working in the middle. Oh, no, that's a laser. That is a laser. We gave up a fourth and 23. That is completely on me. I should not have been in cover two right there. I should not have been in cover two. I thought playing sticks might be able to stop that, but at the end of the day, the cloud flat's going to stop getting out there. I missed it with Ray Lou. I, I, I should have been in cover three right there. I thought the cloud flat would play deep enough. It didn't, but that's completely my mistake. That is completely my mistake. We got to try to get a stop. I'm looking to shoot the gap on any run plays here. It's a pass. It's a pass. Nice read. I'm free. Oh, we're missing tackles. We're missing tackles. That's cool. That's cool. I'm still looking to shoot the gap on any run plays right here. The run is my responsibility. Oh, 
Oh, that was a dot. That was not. I thought Ray Lou might have been there. He wasn't. Good dot. I'm watching the middle right here. I'm going to try to bounce back to this tight end. Looking. I'm looking. Let's go. We got a fourth down. Fourth down. We have another chance to get off the field right here. I'm watching the middle. Chuck Clark. Chuck Clark making plays. That's two interceptions for Chuck Clark. Can we go? Can we go, Chuck? Can we go, baby? Can we go? Let's go, Chuck Clark. Yes. And that is actually going to do it. Great game to our opponent. We're on to game two. Here we go with game two. Love the theme team top three. Here we go. We're going to be starting this one on defense here. We're looking to shoot the gap. We weren't able to do it there. We're going to be starting this one on defense here, trying to see how this Ravens defense can continue to play well. Because they played so well in that first game, right? They played super well in that first game. So we'll see if we can continue it here. And we're also just going to try to see what our opponent likes to do, right? Are they like, are they passing the ball a lot? Are they running the ball? Are they looking to pass the ball deep? Are they looking to pass the ball short? Whatever the case may be, we're trying to feel out what they like to do. Now this gun A slot, this gun A slot actually has a lot of good runs. Yeah, there's the old one trap. The old one trap's got some space. AP, I've played against AP in the, in the next gen before. Adrian Peterson's very, very good. Very tough to stop. Let's see if we can do it. They're in this empty now, so we're going to try to get some pressure. I'm watching the middle of the field. I'm watching for any drags, slants, anything like that. Laser, laser. I've said I'm watching for drags. They throw a drag. I'm, I'm nowhere near it. I'm nowhere near it. That's cool. Come on. In this eye form here, I'm looking to shoot the gap on any inside runs. One back. AP. AP. I'm telling you, AP just gets yards. AP is awesome. AP is awesome. Third and inches, though. Third and inches. Let's see if we can shoot the gap on any run plays. We're looking for a dive here. We're looking for a dive. We got Ray Lou. It wasn't a dive. And AP. And AP. AP, I'm telling you, AP gets yards. AP is awesome. AP is awesome. We're going to have to focus on stopping the run a lot this game. Ooh, ooh, Ray Lou, Ray Lou, Ray Lou. We were looking to shoot the gap right there. We're able to get through, and Ray Lou makes a play. Oh, no, I got stuck. I got stuck. I got stuck. We got some pressure, though. We got some pressure. Yes. We got a long fourth down right here, and I went to cover three because we made the mistake last time of being in a cover two, and Ed Reed makes a play. Can we go? Can we go, Ed? Can we go, Eddie? Oh, I thought we might have had it right there. Let's go the Ravens defense. You know, last year, not giving up a lot of points was really important for the rankings, especially with just how we looked at the defenses. Oh, that was great defense right there. I didn't see anything open out there. Great defense. It was really important as far as for getting your ranking up because if you're not giving up a lot of points, that just means your defense is playing great. And then you just have to worry about the offense. How many points are you scoring? That's a big determinant for how the rankings go. So definitely something to look at as these games go forward here. And we're going to try to go deep right here. We're going to try to go deep to Hester. I would like to get outside the pocket, ideally. So we're going to try to double team that end. We can't get outside the pocket, though. I just need to stand tall back there. They have it contained, so we're staying inside. Oh, Marquise. Marquise Brown, let's go. If they stay in that man coverage, we might have Hester for a touchdown right here. We're throwing it. We're throwing it. Hester. Oh, we couldn't get the pass off. You know what? That's just something to note right there. Gunslinger. I feel like we get that pass off if we had Gunslinger. So keep that in mind. I mean... When you're looking at these team teams, you need someone that fits your personal um, way that you like to play. So if you like to have Gunslinger, you like to maybe like throw tighter window throws, you kind of need that Gunslinger or at least a set feet lead. So maybe like Steve McNair might be your uh, type of quarterback if you're using the Ravens. Something to keep in mind when you're picking whichever team that you end up going with, if you end up doing a theme team, it's definitely something to look at. We're looking to go to Hester again here. I think we might have had it the play before. So we're looking for it here. Oh, I think we had it again. I think we had it again. We're getting we're getting pressured right now. We are getting pressure right now. I need I think I need to keep one running back in. We're gonna keep running one running back in. We're in a third and long now. We're in a third and long. But if we can if we can hold up just for a little bit, and if they lurk low on this slant to Brown, we are going to throw to Hester. So we're looking for it again here. Let's see what they use her. I think we have it. Hester! Hester! Devin Hester! And we're in! Yes! Lamar with the big time throw right there, but definitely keep in mind, you can see we're barely getting those passes off and that has a lot to do with the release speed and that's gunslinger versus non-gunslinger. Going back to try to shoot the gap right here. Inside stuff, the inside stuff. That's why I really, really like the, the run stopping abilities right now uh, on next gen, just because I feel like they do a great job of containing. You have the secure tacklers, so you're not going to give up a ton of broken tackles. You have inside stuff, so on inside runs, your your uh, DTs and ends are going to do really good depending on who you have them on. There's a lot of different things that you can do with them to just allow you to kind of focus on the pass, right? So in this game, just because of AP is so good, I've been trying to focus on the run, but 
with the with with those th with those abilities there i don't have to focus as much and i'm still able to adjust to the pass more and i have to worry about the run quite as much so definitely something that i might recommend is especially on on next gen um on a on current gen i probably wouldn't use the inside stuffs and the secure tacklers i'd probably more so worry about pass defense with like one step aheads and uh maybe if you like to play zone maybe one of the zone reads even though i wasn't the biggest fan of the zone knockout ability so just something just kind of i'm just kind of rambling i'm just kind of rambling just those are my recommendations just because the games play a little bit differently so maybe in, on current gen i focus more on the pass on next gen i focus a little bit more on the run and uh you guys can just kind of kind of go, go with how you you all can just kind of go with whatever you personally like to use we're looking to go deep again potentially to marquise brown i think we might have marquise hollywood hollywood brown Oh, we weren't able to get the touchdown, but that is cool. We'll take the yards. We will take the yards. I'm loving, I'm loving the speed on the outside right now. We have 99 speed with Hester and then 98 with Marquise Brown. I'm loving that speed. And we're actually, we're actually gonna try again here, not to go deep because we're we're in the red zone, but we're going back to this H back wheel play. I really think this is a good play to try to pick up a decent amount of yards in the red zone. I think, oh. I almost threw a pick. To, I almost threw a pick. To, I think Deion Sanders was out there against Todd Heap. We're gonna go to mesh. We're gonna go to mesh. We're gonna go to the double wheels. Love the double wheels on this on this uh, gen. I feel like it's. It was my favorite. It was my favorite red zone play last year. My favorite red zone play last year. It's my favorite red zone play again. We are looking for either wheel. The double wheels. Come on. And we have McGahey. Nice catch, McGahey. I'm hoping this is man coverage right here, and it is. Oh, we had the option. I missed it. Run, Lamar. Well, Lamar feels fast. Lamar feels fast. That's a skateboarder. That is a skateboarder. That's something that you don't get a lot of the time with the gunslinger QBs like a Josh Allen. That is skateboarder. Lamar Jackson was super fast out there. I'll show you again. The little burst out of the backfield. Let's go. I'm in the wrong defense. I called the wrong defense. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. AP, good tackle. I was in the wrong defense right there. We're looking to make a play with Ray Lou. Oh, AP. AP is so good. I know I keep saying, but I'm actually loving this Ravens defense. I feel like they're just making a ton of plays for us across the board in the run game, in the in the pass game, interceptions, stops on the run. They're just doing a great job for us right now. I'm loving this defense. It's definitely my favorite part of the team so far. Ten, uh, for last year, a lot of the time we ended up finding like different things that we loved about each team. Whether it's from Ed Reed, Ed Reed, Ed Reed, let's go! Whether it was we like their defense, their offense, their their passing game, whatever the case may be, there was different things that we found that we Ed Reed is Ed Reed is Ed Reed. We love different things about the team. Right now, I'm loving the Ravens defense. We have 10 seconds here, but we have a ton of speed on our team. So we are gonna be trying to go deep right here. We are gonna be trying to go deep. We have a chance here to potentially either get a field goal or maybe, maybe even a touchdown. If we get the if we get the right look from the defense, they're in man coverage. We have our slant. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Five seconds here. Do we have an? It's tough. We don't have a like we don't have the best kicker in the game right now. So I have to do a quick pass. We're just gonna quickly throw the slant. Quick slant. Quick slant. Quick slant. Go down. Ah, we. I didn't go down there because we. By the time we went down, it would have been zero. Didn't get any points right there. That is cool. I think it's our ball at halftime, though. I believe it is our ball at halftime. So we have a chance here to try to go up three scores. And if they stay in that man coverage, we are going to be looking for Devin Hester. That's our number one read here. 99 speed, high deep route running, especially with the go deep chemistry that we have. They're lurking deep. That's cool. We'll stick with we'll stick with Hollywood Brown. Hollywood Brown. Here we go. One person to beat. Good tackle. That was a big time tackle. That lit up right there. That was like a secure tackler, maybe. But the speed from our receivers right now is making a big difference in this game. It's, ex it's exciting. It is exciting to have that speed on both sides that they have to worry about. So even if they're in zone or man, you kind of have to worry about it both, uh, both sides. So right here, we're going to be looking for our wheel or post. Wheel or post was another one of my favorite concepts last year. So we're looking for it again. We have neither. We have neither wheel nor post, but we have a skate partner Lamar. Oh, I thought we I thought we might have been able to get out of there. I thought we might have been able to get out of there. I like I like escape artists. I'm I'm gonna be excited. Maybe, maybe I should go. Does Aaron Rodgers? I'm not sure if Aaron Rodgers gets uh escape artists and uh 
and gunslinger but that that could be a really cool combination so that's definitely something that, that could be worth trying when we go to the packers theme team but this isn't about the packers this is about the ravens and we're on a first and goal from the one i'm i'm loving this ravens team i am loving this ravens team let's see if we can get it get the ball in here we're going with the run we're going with the run ball start oh great defense great defense you know what there's something about this split close though is we can audible down Maybe I'll audible down here to like an inside I form run. That could that could work well for us here. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. We're going to ISO. See if we can get in right here. McGahee, a little bit more of a power back than Mostert. McGahee, we're in. We're looking to continue to play the best defense that we can here for the first game. If we can get a high Ray Lou! Ray Lou! If we can do really well for the first game, get a number one ranked team that maybe stays there for a little while. That would be pretty cool. So we want to keep doing the best job that we can. Now we still have, we still have. We still have some time to go. We still have some time to go, so we don't want to just, you know, get ahead of ourselves here. But this Ravens team has felt really good so far, so they've got a chance here. They've got a chance. And for the people that really want to, like, look into how their team is doing, this is a nice start. This is a really nice start here. Ooh, I think we have Hollywood. I think Hollywood got open deep. Hollywood Brown. I have loved Ray Lewis so far. I feel like Ray Lewis has probably been the player of the game. And we got it. This Ravens defense is just making plays. That's not that's not me. That's just the Ravens defense getting getting pressure on the QB and then making a play, forcing a fumble right there. Ravens defense has been awesome so far. Great way to start the theme team series off, right? Great way to start it off. Again, we still have some time to go, but great way to start off the theme team series. Looking to run the ball with McGahee here again. Oh, ho, ho. good defense. Good defense. We're going poster wheel here. Poster wheel. And we have the wheel. And we're in. I wasn't sure if we got there. McGahee's. McGahee's made some plays too. I saw one trap. Ooh, oh, AP, 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 AP. I'm telling you. I am telling you. I've said it a lot. I've probably said it too much, but Adrian Peterson is one of the best running backs in the game, if not the best. Oh, Humphrey! Humphrey! Humphrey made a play! Can we go, Humphrey? Let's go! The Ravens defense is just making plays! And that is actually gonna do it. Great game to our opponent. We're on to game three. Here we go with game three. We're gonna be on current gen for this one. And remember, we changed to the Raiders offensive playbook. And we actually changed up our abilities slightly. We'll talk about that in a bit. Here we go. We're going to be starting this one off just by trying to run the ball on the first play. Oh, we barely got that off. We barely got that play. Oh, Mostert. Mostert feels really fast. We're going to be using Mostert because Mostert got backfield master, but Willis McGahee did not. So that's why we're going with Mostert for this one. We're going to be in that trips tight end. We also have Darren Waller out there because Darren Waller is a little bit faster than Todd Heath. So with that tight end apprentice, I feel like Darren Waller was the, uh, the the other choice there. Now, we do have Todd Heap out at the slot spot right now, but we also can put Willis McGahee out there to switch up our personnel, whether we want a second tight end or if we want a second running back. We have those options available to us just because the Ravens have a lot of good players in. And so we can kind of go with what we feel on a given play or a given series, right? So we can switch that up. We'll stick with Todd Heap for now, maybe on the next series or some, maybe later on in this series, we'll switch up. So it's so it feels so different going from uh Split close to the trips tight end. Now I think we have that low ball. Nice job, Marquise Brown. Again, it's gonna be something that I have to get used to not having gunslinger on my QB. Because throughout this series, not every team is going to have a gunslinger. Now, if they do, I'll likely use it if it's their top overall player, uh, top overall QB. But if not, we're gonna have to get used to not having it. So I need to figure out what passes I can and can't throw. And we have that slant there. Good job, Marquise Brown. Good job. I can the way this Ravens offense is feeling right now. I think we have Waller. I think we have Waller. Go, baby. Go, baby. Go, Darren. Go, Darren. Yes. They're coming out of this strong close. The strong close can do a lot of different things well, right? You can pass a lot of it. You can run the ball out of it. So we're going to be trying to just kind of see what our opponent likes to do, right? Feel out if they're liking to pass the ball more, run the ball more. That might be their... Good job with nice makeup speed right there from Humphrey. Really nice makeup speed. Do they, do they like to throw the ball deep? Do they like to throw the ball short? Do they like to run the ball? Definitely going to be a feel out drive. And then we're just going to kind of base our defense based on what they're doing from that, right? So we'll kind of feel it out as we go here. Watching for the run to start. But it, I mean, if they start to just throw the ball only and they're not really pass, uh, they're not really, uh, so if, they're, if they're throwing the ball only and they're not really uh, running the ball, then we'll just start to only adjust to the pass here. 
We get that knockout. Oh, that was that was a big time catch. Val Valdez Scantling, is this a this might be a this might be a Packers theme team? I was talking about the Packers earlier. This might be a Packers theme team. Jennings, yeah, I think this is. This is Packers versus Ravens. This is I was literally talking about the Packers and Aaron Rodgers. Oh, nice move. Nice move. I was literally talking about the Packers theme team earlier. Now we get to see Ravens first Packers. We're getting dotted at the moment right now, though. We are getting dotted at the moment. And there's the run. Very effective runs from the strong close as well. Not, not as effective as maybe like an I form close, but definitely something you still have to kind of worry about when you're going up against it. We're getting dotted right now. We are getting dotted. We're going to have to try to figure this out defensively, but it's kind of exciting that they're using the Packers theme team when we talked about that earlier in the video. Just kind of just a little bit ironic. I have to, I have to watch the fullback here. We got some pressure. We got some pressure. And look, there's Gunslinger. I'll show it on the replay. They're able to get that pass away. You see Aaron Rodgers lighting up right there. They have that Gunslinger. That's big time. I'm watching the fullback here again. My, It's my area. I left it. I left it. I left it. We didn't get any pressure right there. I might need to contain Aaron Rodgers getting outside the pocket a little bit here. I actually, I meant to show you the abilities that we have on defense. So I will show you here. We have acrobats. We have four acrobats and then we have two one step ahead. So that's what we're using. Just two one step aheads and then four acrobats. Oh, I thought that was a laser. I thought that was a laser. We're able to get an incompletion right there. Second and 10. We're kind of getting dotted in this man coverage right here. So if we continue to do that, I'll likely change up. I'll give the rest of this possession to it, but if we keep getting dotted like this, I likely will have to change up just to try to get a stop. And Dion, and as I'm saying that, Dion Sanders makes a play. Come on. And that is actually going to do it. Great games to our opponent. You know what? We're on to game four. Here we go with game four. This is going to be the last game for the video. We'll see if this Ravens defense can continue to play really well. Here we go. We're just going to start this one off with a run. Try to get to a hash mark. One of my favorite sayings is... If we aren't on a hash, we don't want to pass. That's our. That's one of my favorite sayings when it comes to this game. Because I just prefer to pass from a hash mark. I feel like it makes it a little bit easier, a little bit more consistent. Because if you're in between the hashes, you can't really control. Are you exactly in the middle? Are you a little bit to the right or left? Tough to really control it. So I try to be on a hash mark because you can kind of know the spacing and how everything's going to work with your route. So run the ball to get to a hash mark here. Now we're on a second and one. Looking for Mostert outside. We're looking for Mostert outside. Ooh. Ooh, that was a big time play from that safety. Big time play from the safety right there. Now we're on a third and one. Don't want to start this drive off with having to go to a fourth down on the first set of downs. A little bit scary, a little bit nerve wracking if you get to that point. So we'll try to pick this up here. Okay, we have the slant. Nice job, Marquise Brown. We actually have Willis McGahee on the outside this time. We switched it up from Todd Heap. Just to see the difference, get a little bit more speed out there. A little bit less route running, but a little bit more speed. I think we have the crosser. Oh, I thought we had it out there. I thought we had it. We did not. That is cool. That is perfectly cool. Let's see. I'm actually going to go back to the same play. I'm going to go back to the same play. I thought we had it. I thought we had it, but we didn't. That's okay. That is okay. We're going right back to it. We're looking for the crosser, but we're also looking for the slant going across the field. We'll see if we have either one. We have the slant this time. We have the slant this time. Hester. Oh, no. Oh, no. I thought that ball went up. I thought that thing was getting picked maybe for six. Okay, it went to the ground. Now we're on a third and 10. I said I didn't want to go to a fourth down on the first set of downs. Now we're on this second set of downs. We still don't want to go to a fourth down. We still don't want to go uh, to a fourth down. We're going to go to a different play here. We're going to a different play. We are looking. <laughs> we are looking for our tight end crosser or we are looking for our, the post. We're looking for either one here. And we have the out route though. I think we have the out route. Nice catch. And I think that's a first down. Looking to get outside the pocket right here. Oh, we can just throw it. We can just throw it. Nice job, Mostert. Something I really haven't gotten to do a ton of is utilize the roaming Deadeye with the escape artist. That's something I would like to do at some point throughout this game. Here we go. We have a chance at it. We have a chance at it. And I might have made a mistake. I might have made a mistake. I think you're supposed to let go of RT as you're throwing it on that route to get the Deadeye. And uh, I guess I didn't do it because we got inaccurate. So that is on me. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try to double team outside. And I would like to get that crosser. And I would like to get the roaming dead eye with the escape artist because that's that's the advantage to having Lamar as opposed to different quarterbacks. And there we go. It didn't say dead eye. It did say it didn't say inaccurate though. So I'm not sure if it acted. Usually it says uh, dead eye if you activated the roaming dead eye. So maybe I need to let go of RT a little bit sooner. Not sure. Still working through it. I actually haven't used this combination at all this year. Uh, because I usually use a gunslinger QB, but since we don't have it now, it's a decent time to kind of work through it and practice with it. So 
now we're into the red zone and Todd Heap's actually in. Uh, I didn't realize that. I tried to put them on a post. Oh, no. That's a... <sighs> that was really close. That was really close. You know what? McGahee, McGahee dropped it. McGahee isn't really a receiving back, so I'm actually going to put Todd Heap back in there in the slot receiver uh, position. But Darren Waller must have been tired. Darren Waller must have been tired because they weren't in on that play. They are now. But maybe we'll go back to McGahee in that spot. But in the red zone, we don't need as much speed, so we can kind of go to Todd Heap. Low ball, Marquis. Oh, no. Oh, no. I thought that was going to be a drop. It was a fumble. Oh, no. We're looking for the run here. We're looking for the run with Ray Lou. Ray Lou. They're going to this pistol now. I'm watching the middle of the field myself. We make a tackle on that, Humphrey. Good job. We got a third down. Again, I'm watching the middle of the field right here. That's my responsibility. Ooh, ooh. I thought, okay, we have a fourth down. They're going no huddle. Hey, Clark over there. I'm using in the middle of the field with, with a safety. Oh, I was on it. I missed it. And that was completely my fault. I wasn't, I, I didn't, I didn't press Y. I didn't press Y. We were there. We were there on it. I didn't press Y. That is on me. Oh no. Oh no. It's a keep. Oh, it's the read option. It is the read option. All right. We have to, we're going to go to our coaching adjustments right here to try to prevent that from happening anymore. We are going to go to option defense conservative so that they watch, they watch Lamar from now on. That was tough. That was tough. That's a, that's a tough thing to stop is the read option just because you have to look, look to shoot the gap against the run, but then you also have to worry about the QB. Oh, laser. Absolute laser. All right, we're going to put a purple out there. We're going to put a purple out there to stop that corner out. We're getting dotted right now. We are getting dotted. We had a fourth down. We had our chance. We did not get off the field. And now we have to kind of figure it out here. We have to kind of figure it out. I'm watching for the running back here. Clark, Clark. Good tackle. Good tackle. Middle of the field's mine here again. The middle of the field's mine. Oh, it's a nice run play. Nice run play. Really nice run play. We're in trouble right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ray Lou. I missed it. I missed it with Ray Lou. They are on the one yard line. We missed it with Ray Lou. All right, we're going to run commit. We are going to run commit. See if we can stop it in the backfield. We are going to run commit right here. Ray Lou made a play. Ray Lou made a play. I want to try to get a stop right here. I think we can shoot the gap right here. I'm not going to run commit. I think we can shoot the gap. Ray Lou! Ray Lou! All right. Third and goal from the five right here. I think they're going to pass. We're going to play pass right here. We're going to play pass. If they run the ball, that's just a great play from them. But we are going to play the pass right here. So that is what we're looking for. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got stuck. We got stuck. Great play. Great play. I wasn't ready for that at all. We didn't have a spy or anything. Adelius Thomas makes the play. All right. They're going to take their field goal. We still have some time here. We're going to have over a minute with our timeouts. But pending this field goal, it looks like we're going to be giving up our first points with this Raven. The Raven. The Ravens defense has played awesome for us all day. Can't be mad about it. Definitely will take how they play today. Let's see if we can get a score. We're looking to try to get outside the pocket right here. Oh no, we didn't, we weren't able to do it. We were gonna look to try to do the roaming, the roaming dead eye on the outside post. We are in such trouble now. We are in such trouble now. We're gonna try again here. We're gonna double team this outside here, but we, we're trying to pick up a big play because we're running out of time before half. Just take the slant, just take the slant. No, I, was, I wanted to roll. I'm not even gonna take the time out. They're gonna take it, that's smart, that is smart. Hmm, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna throw any completion right here because I don't wanna give them the ball back with a, with, any like as many timeouts as they can have we're just going to try to stay in the pocket right here we'll just take heap we'll just take todd heap there hmm do we go for it it's fourth and 11 that's definitely possible to pick up we're actually going to go for it we're going to go for it right here i don't know you know what no we're going to trust the defense we're going to trust the defense we are going to punt the ball away that's the decision we should make here we don't want to give them a, a free opportunity of points there's only 30 seconds left here so as long as we just play not if we don't give too many yards at once we should be able to hold them to no points here we didn't want to keep this punt in bounds oh oh no oh no okay all right i'm watching the middle of the field again here i didn't spy i gotta spy lamar lamar so fast that's gonna be close to that might even already be field goal range we gotta make sure we spy here but we have to actually we have to worry about the run a little bit too because if they run the ball they could pick up a first down off it so i'm watching for the run here it is a run. It is a run. Ray Lou. Ray Lou made a play. I don't know if this is field goal range or not. I really don't know. They're going to spike. They're going to spike. Are they going to go for the kick right now? Okay, they're going to go for it. They're going to go for it. So they're, they're most likely not in field goal range right here. But we need to try to make sure they don't get to the sideline very quickly. It, well, and I, the person I'm using, I allow to get to the sideline very easily. It's just exactly what I said. So they're going to get another field goal before half. 
That that is on me. That is on me. I'm saying we can't let them get to the sideline. The person that I'm supposed to be guarding my assignment, I allow to get to the sideline. So down six nothing here. Gonna be in there. It's gonna be their ball at half. We are in a tough spot. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh, good tackle. Good tackle. We're they're doing a great job right now running the ball. They're doing a great job right now passing the ball. They're gonna shoot the gap when he runs. It's a pass. This is a pass. Ooh no. Ooh no. They're getting close to field goal range here. If they get a field goal, they're going to be up a full two possessions here. We got to we got to try something. We got to we cannot give up another first down. We cannot give up another first down. If we do, they're going to be in field goal range. Actually going to use her the safety. I'm going to use the safety here. Good tackle, Weddle. Yes. Watch in the middle of the field. The middle of the, Oh, nice route. That was a really nice route. They got a first down. We are literally getting lasered pretty much every single play. They haven't thrown an incompletion yet. They haven't thrown one incompletion yet. Trying to get down there for this run. Ed Reed. Ed Reed. Ooh, nice tackle, Ed Reed. We we don't want to give up any more first downs just as far as clock goes now. If we end up holding to a field goal, we're going to be down to two possessions, but we don't want to give up any more first downs just because they're taking a lot of clock right now. They are taking a lot of clock, and we are in trouble. We are in trouble here. So we're going to shoot the gap on any run plays. We're going to shoot the gap. I missed it. Can we get to the outside? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Weddle. No, no, no. Oh, no. They didn't score either, so they could take even more time. That's actually probably pretty smart because they're going to be up two possessions regardless. You know, I'm actually going to run commit. I'm going to run commit. If they pass, they pass. But we're looking to shoot the gap on this with a, with a run commit. All right. Now, we don't want to give up. We don't want to allow them to take too much more time, but we don't want to give up a touchdown because then we kind of need two touchdowns. A touchdown and a field goal is going to be a lot easier to get than that. So we're going to this two man under. They're going to run the ball here. That's a smart play. That's a smart play, but Ray Lou made a play. That's Ray Lou right there making a play. Now we're on third and goal from the six. They're likely going to take this to the fourth quarter. Third and goal. This is a big play. Oh no, they ran the ball again. They ran the ball again. Are they going to get in there? All right, it's fourth and goal. I kind of want them to go for it just so we can possibly get a stop and still only be down one possession here. I kind of want them to go for it, but if they kick, they'll go up to two possessions. Either way, it's not. The, either way, we're still in this game. We are still in this game. Let's see what they're going to do. They are going to go for it. We are looking to shoot the gap on any run plays right here. They're looking to go for it. Okay. Can we get back there? Ray Lou! Ray Lou! Ray Lou! Let's go! We got a chance! Ray Lewis with the play of the day. We've got a chance right here to get back in this one with Mostert. We have a chance to get back in this game. We need to put together a drive right here, though. We need to put together a drive. We have time. Time is not too much of a factor here. We have our timeouts. We can run the ball. We can pass. The playbook is pretty much fully open right here. We just want to keep moving the chains. We're looking for Mostert on the outside here. We're going to have it. We're gonna have it. Can we get up the field? Nice. I know I said time wasn't too much of a factor, but we don't wanna to take too much time here. I think we have Mostert. I think we have Mostert. Great job, Mostert. And we can get out of bounds. Just wanna keep moving the chains right here. Just wanna keep moving the chains. Ooh, that was scary. That was scary. We've got a chance to possibly roll out right here to go to our, go to our roaming dead eye. Oh, wow! I was not sure what was going to happen on that play. We ended up getting an under-pressure throw because we weren't able to roll out the way that we wanted to. And Marquise Brown makes a toe tap like that. That was awesome. That was awesome. And now we have a chance with Mostert. Now we have a chance with Mostert. Now we can take some clock here. We can take some clock. We can't fully clock out if they call timeouts, but we can take some clock here. We're actually going to put Willis McGahee in just because Mostert's a little bit tired. We don't want to have a chance to fumble here. And we're going to take this clock all the way down ideally here we we take clock on first and second down and then we get on, on third and goal i don't want to get to a fourth and goal because it can be a little bit nerve-wracking but they only need a field goal if we get a touchdown right so we're in a tough spot regardless right here but we just want to make sure we take some clock away from them they're going to call timeout that's smart we're going to run the ball one more time right here just to take some more clock with mcgahee mcgahee Ooh. all right we have this is a tough spot we have third and goal from the five now this is four down territory so if we don't score here we still do have another play but ideally we get in right here ideally we get in right here i think we have the running back mcgahee mcgahee now let's see the penalty it was a legal contact i i think we should accept this we're gonna accept this now i know we scored and can take the lead but they have a minute 11 with time out here but we can get the first down and take more clock i feel like that's the play here i feel like that's the play so we're gonna run the ball try to take more clock again here and there we go. We gained a yard. We're at the two yard line now. We're taking some more clock. I'm actually going to go to sneak. We are on conservative. So I'm going to go to QB sneak here. Try to take even more clock. Maybe gain a yard right here. And then take another 30 seconds. That's the ideal thing here. 
So the sneak got us two. All right, it didn't get us. It didn't get us anywhere. It didn't get us anywhere. If we don't score here, that's that is that is not the best play by me. So you know what? We're gonna go to aggressive. We're gonna go to aggressive. We're gonna go to fullback dive. We're gonna go to fullback dive. We're gonna put Willis McGahee there, and we're gonna try to get in. We're gonna try to get in right here again. It's still four down territory. So if we don't get in right here, we can have the last play of the game pretty much. We can have the last play of the game pretty much. Ooh, this is this is nerve wracking. My heart's beating right now. I don't know about your heart's beating, but my heart's beating, and they shot the gap on that. That was a big time play. Maybe we should have just taken the touchdown. Maybe we should have just taken the touchdown. We're gonna take this all the way down here. It's gonna be the last play of the game. Biggest play of the game right here. We don't have anything. Playmaker. I think we got it. No, we're gonna lose on it. What a game. To our opponents, we didn't get the win. I am sorry we did not start it off with uh, with a with a with a clean with a clean slate of wins. We didn't get that one. Great game to our opponent. They played great defense the entire time. We probably should have just taken the touchdown and not accepted the penalty, but we wanted to try to take as much time as possible. We got died at the majority of the game, so I wasn't sure if we were gonna be able to keep them from getting a field goal, but awesome game to our opponent. I hope you all enjoyed it. We're going to continue to keep this series going, so I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, only if you want to. Take it easy. Peace. I'm sorry. We should have just taken the touchdown, but you know what? The Ravens are going to be ranked number one to start. We'll see how long they hold up. I'll see you all in the next one.